Hey guys, next is some stuff you can do if a guy's attacking you, you sprawled on him, he's in the turtle. Occasionally, it's not the best way of doing a single leg, head outside, head inside's better for a lot of reasons, different stuff standing in on the ground. But a lot of times you, you knock a guy hard, this is his shooting instinct, he ends up here. So here's some defenses you can do if he's hooking an outside single, he's shooting on the takedown. Here, number one, you're just gonna sprawl out and go 90 degrees on him like a T, okay? So we're gonna go here, and I got this hooked, I'm gonna hook inside his wrist, and I'm gonna get the submission, like an armbar, here. His arm always ends up in different ways, but you can figure it out and belly down and shove your hips forward and get that submission right there. See, he's hooked, okay? If he's really strong, you're having trouble with that, you could go to a Gary Goodridge like crucifix position for some nasty elbows. Okay, all you're gonna do is in here, you're gonna do a forward shoulder roll, Hook this here to your head so he can't pull it out. If you do here, you're fighting strength for strength, you might weave Zerma. So go to your own head, hook him here, and do Gary Goodrich to Paul Herrera. Give him those eight nasty elbows and knock him out. There's also one more variation you can do. If this keeps happening in the fight later on, you're having trouble finishing him from the turtle position. A lot of guys with judo backgrounds go to turtle, maybe you end up here a lot. You have trouble hitting. You try to elbow him a few times, maybe if the rules allow, but the referee's warning you for hitting the back of the head with elbows as he's hiding himself. He doesn't want to fight, he's hiding. Okay, so now we want to go to a different position to finish him. We've had trouble finishing him in this position. He's good at rear naked choke defense, and he, with the gloves on and the make gloves on, he's blocking his head fairly well, and it's hard to get elbows in a position that are legal. You're getting warned you don't want to lose a point, or maybe you already lost a point. This time what we're going to do, we're going to take our hand, reposition, over here, and we're going to belly down, flip our legs to the other side over his back and end up inside him. Okay, you're going to take this hand, go over here, and flip over. Perfect beat down crucifix salivary position here. I got his arm trapped, I landed this underhook as soon as we landed, and now he can drop those downward elbows and finish the fight and pound him out. You know, from there, if you wanted to go to further technique. You could you can attack this arm, whatever you want. You're landing yourself in a great position from the back where you had trouble finishing. So that's flipping over his back, going to the far side, side mount, but in a nice beat down position. Try that out. Should work out well for you.